and Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, La Nathan, Kao Halai Malai Yahweh Bashun, Yahweh Shai, Bahashun Recha Kodash, which means to give our praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Nathan, Mashana Kabbalah, Laha Zikorim Shai, as Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel which is the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and who will. Shalom wa ahab la haba shayas Allah, which means peace and love to the lack of Israel and come back again. Through the spirit power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha Kodash, on the border of Anah, from Jeremiah Smith's account, the lesson going to be on this article that I came across, and it's the spirit because I just got um, pretty much at the plantation which today is a new day, 12 a.m., so I guess yesterday or whatever, according to Esau, that pretty much on the, <clears throat> on the plantation, I was, <clears throat> I still like it, was, feel like I'm losing my voice now. But anyway, on the plantation, I was, um, did a lesson on the, on some of the day. So yesterday's, um, you know, July 31st, uh, 2023. I did a plant, uh, did a summer of the day with Psalms 81 and uh, 4. I know it's a new day, so I pr pretty much it's a new summer of the day. Psalms 6, 3, and 2, but yesterday was Psalms 81 and 4, for this was a statue for Israel and the law of the power of Jacob, but pretty much I was focusing on 3 and 4, you know, blow up the trumpet and the new moon. In the time appointed on that solemn feast day, so pretty much going to moon, you know, so so like the forty third chapter. So, and I came across the article today, you know, pretty much I want to do it now before you know I walk inside the house and lay it down. You know, JG got out the plantation, so just want to get this in very quick because it's the spirit, you know. So it's say from NB, um, NBC News, two super moons in August means double the stargazing fun. So catch the first show Tuesday evening as the full moon rises in the southeast, appearing slightly brighter and bigger than normal. And I can say it is bigger and brighter. You know, now, you know, we in the uh, Sabbath, the Shabbat, it's a full moon now, so it is brighter and bigger now. You know, it got a glow, <laughs> a glow around it, man. So, and this was published July 30, 2023, which is the hopeful year that all the prophecies going to pass. And one thing about it, the prophecies are speaking loud and clear with the end. And at the end, it's just speaking out loud. So prophecy is speaking, but let we, you know, read into it, read some of this in this article. It said the cosmos is offering up a double future in August, a pair of super moons combinating in a rare blue moon. So th at the end of the month, I want to say, I think it say August 30. It's going to be a blue moon, I believe. It said, catch the first show Tuesday evening. It's the full moon rises in the southeast, appearing slightly brighter and bigger than normal. So you can walk out the house now. You know, it's nighttime where I'm at Memphis, so hey, you can look at, it, at the moon now. You know, but it said, uh, catch the first show Tuesday evening. It's the full moon rises in the southeast, appearing Slight, slightly brighter and bigger than normal. That's because it would be closer than usual. Just you know, ESO estimated guess, two hundred twenty-two hundred fifty-nine miles, you know, away. Thus, the supermoon super moon label, the moon will be even closer the night of August thirty. Right. So right. So yeah, that pretty much the point of this article, man. Two uh, super moons is coming this month, August, right? It said the last time two full moons, two full moons, two full super moons graced the sky in the same month was in 2018. It won't happen again until 2037, according to Italian. So, Lord willing, we don't we don't be here 2037. I bought this up, you know. Lord willing, the kingdom of heaven. Be established, the house of Shaikina be established, man. Because the Lord said, Give him the west to make Jerusalem the praise of the earth. Fuck some 2037. But I just found that the spirit, you know, because I just pretty much, you know, went in on the signs, you know, because pretty much that's a sign. A, a blue moon, 
all the red blue um red moons, the solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, the moon now bigger and brighter, closer than the earth, closer to the earth. So Genesis one and fourteen, I bring it out again in this um lesson. And the power said, Let there be lights <clears throat> in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. So signs. Bring it out again. In the Hebrew, a what? You no. Know, pretty much a miraculous sign. It is a miraculous, you know. Look at miraculous, man. Supernatural, amazing, occurring through divine or supernatural intervention or manifesting such power. You know. You know what it mean. It's a miraculous sign. Omen, a warning. So these blood moons and super moons and all that, man, pretty much this is a warning, man. That what? That, hey, pretty much the Lord's coming back, man. But it's for us, we not supposed to be afraid of them. John my 10, let's start at 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speak unto you, O house of Israel. Why, O house of Israel, who make up the house of Israel. It's the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and wherever um, the House of Israel, you know, been scattered to, right, across the four winds of the earth, who spill goods back to Israel. Like, they may look like the other nations, may look like so-called Japanese, Chinese, Africans, Arabs, East Indians, but who spill it goes back to Israel, like, you see? But it say, Thus said the Lord, you how alone not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Right? Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, especially the so-called UFOs, which are chariots, the salvation vehicles, man. The so-called UFOs are, 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 are or is our salvation vehicle. Lord willing, you know, we are part of the lick. But the heathens, they are dismayed at them. Esau eat them because the scripture said they should enter into the house of the thief. <laughs> right? So, so called UFOs are known as chills in the scriptures, man. And we're not supposed to be afraid of them, man. How, how else are you going to escape the second death? <laughs> so, right, man. So, these are signs, man. So, let's end it with Luke. I don't got to make the lesson, you know, long. But this Luke 21. And twenty eight, and when these things begin to come to pass, what things? The prophecies, the prophecies speaking, loud and clear. Revelation thirteen and sixteen. He calls all both small and great, which are poor, free and bond, <laughs> all the way down that no man might buy or sell. So if he had the M A R K, which is the mark of the beast. I'm gonna say it, man. Which is the R F I D implantable grain of rice, man. So don't take that mark, the device. You know, you if you decide and give up and take it, you're gonna be part of the second death. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not giving out medical advice. But don't take that device, man. You see, but guess what? Everything on digital and cashless wars and woman wars and women's wars, right? So this what we where we at with World War Three is not. But before that, shit, this. The, our temptation is not, man. Jacob's trouble is not, man. Oh, yeah, about to break loose, man. So I'm saying when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, right? Look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw now, right? Salvation is, 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 is nigh. It's near. You know? <laughs> hey, this is getting in my spirit, Romans 13 and 11. And then knowing the times, then now it is high time to wake out of sleep. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, it says, Awake to righteousness, man. Awake to righteousness, man. You see? And how can you awake to righteousness, man? By doing the first works. Repenting. Coming back unto the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Repenting, man. It says, um, And that knowing the time, and that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now it's our salvation never. Then when we, then when we believe, man. So what? This is all the more urgent, for you know how late it is. Time is one out, right? Time is one out. Time is speeding up, and they already said scientists the Earth spinning faster than usual. 
<laughs> so time is speeding up. Shit, the, the weekends feel like a lunch break, man. Shit is flying, man. <laughs> the days. Shit, one day feel like a eight, feel like a, you know, eight hour week feel like an eight hour shift, man. <laughs> you know, time is speeding up, man. So for you know how late it is, time is one out. Wake up for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed, man. You see? So time is speeding up. And all praise to you. Y'all about your shot for that, man. I know it's something in it, but hey, man. Second edges. I may end it here. Is it second edges too? You know, second edges 2 and 13. Go and you shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. So this is what we ultimately supposed to be praying. You know, keep this in our prayers, man. Continue asking the Lord to show the days and speed up the time. Why? Let's continue reading. Pray for few days unto you that they may be shown. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Praying for few days, asking the Lord to show the times because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Meaning what? No more tears, no more crying, no more back pains, no more sorrow, no more pain for water, no more walking on concrete. No more moles walking the earth, you know, <laughs> walking the streets and Decepticons and Esau. Come on, man. No, Come on, man. We supposed to be praying for a few days, man. The scripture said, give the Lord no rest till you make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. You see? So the kingdom of heaven is already prepared for you, man. What did the Lord say in John the 14th? Let me see, son. John 14, let's start at 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the most high, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go. I go to prepare a place for you. Come on, man. Boy. <laughs> I'm going to prepare a place for you, man. All the planets that Esau so-called discovered, the Pluto, the Mars. And that nigga never been to the moon. He ain't never going to Mars. You see? See, we going to take that nigga to Mars blindfolded and have him pick up, you know, stones so we can bring it back to the earth. <laughs> you know? But he ain't never going there, man. See, don't plan this. It's for us. He, he, what I say? he made nothing in vain. He made nothing in vain, man. So this is what we should desire and want, man, the kingdom of heaven. It said, and if I if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. That's exactly what the Lord coming back, <laughs> you know. He coming back again, man. When he come back, he's not going to meet this, man. And that's what? We blowing that trumpet, crying aloud, spilling that, telling the people, you know, especially our people, the Israelites, to repent, man. That the Lord's coming back, man. Then what it said, when everything is ready, I will come and get you. Come on, man. We ready to go home, man. Uh, it's a song that just came to mind. I'm homesick. About a little, uh, he a Jake, a country rapper. But, hey, come on. The Lord said he come back to get us, man. And this, hey, the Lord come back to get his elect. The virgins. <laughs> Lord, when I'm part of the elect number, you know, but the Lord said, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, that ye may be also. And where I go, ye know, in the way ye know. You see? The Lord said, come back to get us, man. We hey, Hebrews 13 and 14. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And of Hebrews 13 and 14. For this world is not our permanent home. This society is not it. It's not our permanent home. This society is full of wickedness and chaos and confusion. You don't know if that's a man or a woman or not, man, because all the Decepticons and Transformers, man. You know, you gotta you gotta ask for birth certificates now, man. I, you know, I need some I need some proof of ID, man. You know? Come come on, man. This this shit is not it, man. It's vexing. But it said for this word, it's not our prominent home. 
We are looking forward to a, a home yet to come, like new Jerusalem coming out of heaven. We look for a new heaven, a new earth, where they're doing righteousness, man. That's what we look forward to, man. So what it say? Therefore, let us offer through Yahweh shall continue. Uh, through Yahweh shall continue sacrifice of praise to the Most High, proclaiming our allegiance to His name, by like, to His name. What it say? Out of the mouth of uh, confession comes salvation. I put that in the description box, man. Uh, one was to, no, let's get in now. The family was coming. I know Jay got a, you know. <laughs> uh, one was 10. And 9. So we got a, <laughs> it's, it's all about that name, man. These are they that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. Second as the second chapter as well. So one was 10 and 9. That if thou should confess with thy mouth the Lord, you have a shy. And shall believe in thy heart that, that the most I raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So it's all about confessing the true names of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Which being Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. But the Lord's coming back. You know, and it's good to say, seek the Lord where he may be found, call upon him where he's near. The family word haven't came yet, but it's, it's coming, it's drawing nigh, you know. And once it's, and once it's, um, once the most high shut, it, shut the end it down, it's over with, man. But for the servants of the Lord that have been serving the Lord in true sincerity, they're going to be taken care of, man. And Lord and I, you know, we can be taken care of in that day, man. But it starts now. Repenting starts now, man, before it's too late. You know? But Lord, one of this less was edifying. You know, it's a lot of But <clears throat> pretty much going in on this article, you know, two super moons in August, you know, pretty much coming once the night was, I guess, today, August 1st. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> once again, give, <clears throat> once again, give our praises to you. How old by Shemmy? How old shy? By Shemmy, how could The barnest to the apostles and the so great men's who teaching will wear peace and love to let with that shallow warm crumbs all of a bubble.